बी पार्ट फर्स्ट के विद्यार्थियों के लिए पेपर फर्स्ट में आज हम जॉन मिल्टन पोइट है उसके बारे में पढ़ेंगे और उनकी पोएम ऑन हिज ब्लाइंडनेस ये सोनेट है इन टूडेज वीडियो डेयर स्टूडेंट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ऑथर जॉन मिल्टन एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सोनेट ऑन हिज ब्लाइंडनेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द पोइट जॉन मिल्टन जॉन मिल्टन वॉज एन इंग्लिश पोइट एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल हु सर्वड एज ए सिविल सर्वेंट फॉर द कॉमनवेल्थ ऑफ इंग्लैंड अंडर इट्स काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट एंड लेटर अंडर ओलिवर क्रॉमवेल जॉन मिल्टन इज बाय कॉमन कंसेंट वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट नेम्स इन इंग्लिश पोइट्री बोर्न इन सिक्सटीन जीरो एट अबाउट एट ईयर बिफोर शेक्सपियर डाइट मिल्टन बिकेम टोटली ब्लाइंड इन सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी टू वैन ही वॉज ओनली फोर्टी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ He died in sixteen seventy four. So he was born on ninth December sixteen zero eight at Bread Street, Chipstead, London, England. Died eighth November sixteen seventy four. Writing in English, Latin, Greek, and Italian, he achieved. international renown with his life time his celebrated erognita written in condemnation of pre publication censorship is among history's most influential and impassioned defenses of freedom of speech and freedom of the press his desire for freedom extended into his style he introduced new words coined from latin and ancient greek to the english language and was the first modern writer to employ unrhymed verse outside of the theater or translation william hales 1696 biography called him the greatest english author and he remains generally regarded as one of the preeminent writers in the english language though critical reception has oscillated in the centuries since his death paradise lost as a poem which with respect to design may claim the first place and with respect to performance the second among the productions of the human mind though he described milton's politics as those of an atrimonious and surely republican john milton was an english poet and intellectual who served as a civil servant for the commonwealth of england under its council of state and later under oliver cromwell he wrote at a time of religious flux and political upheaval and is best known for his epic poem paradise lost that was written in 1667 written in blank verse paradise lost is widely considered to be one of the greatest works of literature ever written politically and his religious belief he was a puritan but he was far from sharing the average puritan's aversion to art and beauty some of his early poems like la allegro second penis row comus and lycidas are among the very best of their kinds 
his sonnets one of which on his blindness is prescribed for your study were written when he was engaged in public life and holding higher officer office under cromwell in england they are written on the patriarchal model but the model is now generally called miltonic sonnet so milton sonnets are written in patriarchal style and on his name they are co- now called as miltonic sonnet his epic paradise lost and paradise regained and his dramatic poem samson agustinis were all written after he became blind these are absolutely unequaled milton's work shows a strong sense of moral values vast learning and a fine sensitivity and a rich imagination his style and diction are incomparably lofty and majestic so dear student this was a brief introduction of the poem of the poet john milton now we'll discuss the poem on his blindness or how my light is spent on his blindness by john milton is one of the finest sonnets by the great poet of england it is autobiographical in character and it presents to us the pathetic condition of the poet who had lost his eyesight when he had hardly crossed half the span of his life when i consider how my light is spent known as on his blindness is one of the best known of the sonnets of john milton the last three lines are particularly well known then conclude with they also serve who only stand and wait which is much quoted though rarely in context variants of it have been used as mottos in a number of contexts for example the duckin model we will we also sir and the navy wives club of america uses the motto they also serve this sonnet was first published in milton's 1673 sonnet poems in his autograph notebook known as the trinity manuscript from its location in the within library of trinity college cambridge he gave it the number 19 but in the published book it was number 16 so both numbers are used for it it is popularly given the title on his blindness but there is no evidence that milton used this title it was assigned a century later by thomson newton in his 166 sorry 1761 edition of milton's poetry it is always amused that the poem was written after the publication of milton's poem 1645 poems it may have been written as early as 1652 all the most scholars believe that it was composed sometime between june and october 1655 when milton's blindness was essentially essentially complete however most discussions of the dating depend on the assumption that newton's title reflects milton's intentions which may not be true More reliable evidence of the date of the poem comes from the fact that it appears in the Trinity manuscript. 
विच इज बिलीव टू कंटेन मेटीरियल रिटर्न बिटवीन अबाउट सिक्सटीन थर्टी वन एंड सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी नाइन एंड दैट इट इज नॉट रिटर्न इन मिल्टन्स ऑन हैंड राइटिंग बट दैट ऑफ ए सब्सक्राइब हु ऑल्सो रोट आउट सेवरल अदर ऑफ द सोनेट्स टू विच मिल्टन डिज असाइंड हायर नंबर्स हेस्किन डिस्कसेज सम ऑफ द लाइकली इंटरप्टिव एरस दैट रीडर्स हैव मेड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ अज्यूमिंग दैट द कॉमन टाइटल ऑफ द पोएम इज ऑथेंटिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल द वन टैलेंट दैट मिल्टन मॉन्स हिज इनएबिलिटी टू यूज इज नॉट नेसेसरली हिज पोइटिक एबिलिटी इट माइट हैव एज easily be his ability to translate texts from foreign languages the task for which he was responsible in the commonwealth government however the reference to light the darkness in the poem make it virtually certain that milton's blindness was at least a secondary theme the sonnet is in the name of the petrarchan form with the rhyme scheme ए बी ए बी बट ओल्डर्स टू द मिल्टोनिक कंसेप्शन ऑफ द फोर विद ए ग्रेटर यूसेज ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट सो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस वॉज ए ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सोनेट ऑन हिज ब्लाइंडनेस